Good afternoon. Um, just a quick update. Today is Tuesday. We are here today. And with the weather coming in, we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> but I wanted to give you a quick update on where we are and what we have going on. Uh, we took a formative assessment today. Some of you may have seen the grades that went into Infinite Campus. They were not um, what I had hoped for. Um, I want to give you a little insight on how we, what we did to lead up to it and then um, where we're going from here. The quick check that we took last week, those are coming home in signed papers. I gave those back to the kids. We went over those. I took them back up. But I did post videos and posted, there is a post in Google Classroom that I put in there last week before the the formative assessment that was Friday. Um, they finished it up today. But I put a long post in Google Classroom that had videos, keys. I showed them the handouts. I went through everything that they would need <clears throat> to prepare for the um, assessment. It was 20 questions. I am requiring at this point, unless they have some sort of documentation that says that they get extended time, they are having to finish this on the same day. Now, I ha I did give them time. If they didn't finish in class, they could come back at lunch. And then I had some time in this afternoon during ELT. I had one or two that were finishing up right up until they called busways this afternoon. But I am requiring that they get these done on the same day <clears throat> that the, of the assessment. That's something as a seventh grade that we have decided we're going to kind of start pushing because we have some that just will drag it on for weeks and weeks. Um, this afternoon, I have gone through and worked every single problem on the assessment. I cannot take a full class period to do that assessment with them and go over it with them in class because of the days that we've had and the days that we've missed. I can't lose that day of instruction. So I have put this in a video in Google Classroom, or it will be in Google Classroom tomorrow. These papers are coming home with them in signed papers tomorrow. Um, the students need to watch the video, listen to the instruction. They're real bad about turning on the closed caption and just kind of watching, not listening to the teaching that is going on. They need to be listening to the teaching that's going on. I've gone over every single question on this assessment. I need them to watch the video, correct their theirs. If they have questions, if they need something more from me in order to understand that, come back to me, say, you know, Miss Bosworth, I watched the video. I'm still not sure about number whatever. I can put it in as a warm up, go over it real quick with them. There are a few on here that I am going to hit tomorrow when I give them back. I'm going to go over a few of them. Some of the most missed ones, the ones that we had the highest percent percentage that missed. I just can't go over the whole entire assessment. <clears throat> so they need to watch that video. If your internet is spotty, if the weather were to get you and the internet's spotty, they can come in here and watch it during lunch. <clears throat> Excuse me, this cold. Um, they can come in here and watch it during lunch. Take the time. At this point, what they're doing is they're using this as we move into our unit test. The unit test is right now on, this, on the calendar for somewhere around the 26th. I'm going to put it out there and just say by the end of the month. By the end of this month, they should we will have had our unit test. We have two more concepts that we have to cover before we're ready to take the unit test. So we're going to be doing that the rest of this week and next week and then moving into our unit test. But they'll have one more um, quick check quiz, quick check daily type grade going into before the test. Um, and they, I think we may have one more formative. I don't remember. But all of the quick checks, all of the formatives will have a video of me going over them. And they, you know, we may go, you know, depending on, you know, to enhance whatever we're doing in class to go over. I may or may not have, you know, be able to go over every question on the test, but I will always hit the most missed questions. And then from there, they'll have the video of me teaching it 
to go back over. Um, and that's how they need to be preparing for that unit test that's coming up. I just, you know, wanted to be sure that you are aware of the things that I'm putting out there for them to use at home. I just don't think they're getting on there and doing what they need to be doing at home. They do have a little bit of homework to do tonight. I'm going to be putting together a some practice um, for them to do for homework. That's going to be just continual practice of what we're doing coming up. It'll also be spiraling back to some practice that um, concepts that we had earlier in the year to kind of keep everything fresh in their brains as we move on into the spring and get ready for the milestones. So please let me know if you have any questions. Again, sign papers will come home tomorrow. Those two assessments will be in their sign paper folder and um, there are videos in Google Classroom for them to watch to be able to correct them, see what they did wrong, and then come back to me if they have any additional questions on what to do and, and how to do things. I'm, you know, I'll do whatever I can, clear it up. We can get together at lunch. I can set up some after school tutoring days. All you have to do is let me know. I'm more than happy to set up some days after school. I just need to know, you know, who needs me and what they need from me. So just let me know what you need. I hope all of you are going to stay warm and I'm here if you need me. Have a great evening. Have a great afternoon. Thanks. Bye.